Hi, I'm Leah Hammond, an Intellectual Property Manager at WARP. And I'm Emily Bauer. For this year's WARP Innovation Awards, we're excited to nominate a cross-disciplinary team working to bridge synthetic biology and electronic communication. Professors Megan McLean and Bhuvna Krishnaswamy are developing next-generation biosensors with applications from healthcare diagnostics to environmental testing to food safety. Megan and Bhuvna, we are thrilled to recognize your team's ingenuity and we look forward to your next steps. My name is Meg McLean and I'm an assistant professor in the biomedical engineering department. So there's been tremendous progress in the past decades in engineering sensors um, through synthetic biology and bioengineering to sense a variety of compounds that would be of interest in health in terms of sensing molecules that signal disease or in terms of sensing what's happening in the soil for better agricultural applications. But it's very difficult because cells themselves are not great processors to take that power and hook it to sort of things that would be traditionally useful. Yeah, so at the highest level, the goal of this technology is to allow biological sensing networks to communicate with electronic networks so that each can do what they're best at. So. Um, in biology, we have very good sensors for sensing molecules and other compounds of interest, and then we're very good at engineering electrical networks to do, perform computation and processing. So the idea is to allow them to talk to each other and each to do what they're best at. Okay, so on my end, my lab specializes in optogenetics, which we use to control the activity of these biosensors. And so we've engineered a number of optogenetic tools that allow us to control these sensors with light. So optogenetics takes advantage of naturally occurring light sensitive proteins and then engineers those proteins so that in response to light, they set off reactions or processes inside of a cell. So my contribution is in and leveraging the simplified bioelectronic network that we've developed and address a variety of these communication problems, how to read from these sensors and build a network of sensors to collect most amount of data, most reliable data from such a network. We envision this in few years down the line to be incorporated in a wearable system that someone can wear um, an electronic, uh, a bioelectronic sensor where the sensor is on our body and we turn on it, our sensor with, uh, with a light and detect some activity on our skin or on our body uh, in real time. So that's where we see this uh, going in the future.